hooked up. There we go. That's on the monster bass. <laughs> well, the multi-species box is definitely catching multi-species. Okay. Welcome back to another Fishing Adventures TV video. Today we're going to do another unboxing. My buddy uh, Justin uh, with Someplace Outdoors Fishing. Um, talked me into buying this Monster Bass subscription. He's subscribed to it. So we got our first Monster Bass box. Now I went and got the multi-species fishing um, in fresh water. Monster Bass will stock your box with lures that are appropriate for your area of the country. So as I live in Texas, hopefully we get some Texas bait. Um, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Tell us what you think about um, subscription boxes. Let us know if you have any links that we can get a discount on other boxes or our uh, other subscribers do. So after we break into this box, we're gonna take just this box out on the lake and fish with just the lures in this box and we'll see how we do. I guess let's uh, crack into this box and let's see what's in it. While you're here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know you're dropping a comment right now. Let's get into the box. Monster Bass box. Oh, it's got a QR code. Monster Bass. First off, some basic tips on fishing. Spring, summer, fall, winter. I'm just gonna reach in and grab something. First thing. Oh a Mad Max topwater popper. Now, I love me a pink lure, actually. This thing's two and a half inches long, weighs a third of an ounce. Next thing, Bobby Garland, very good brand, slab hunter minnow, blood minnow color. Here we go. Nice packaging, too, by the way. These are good size. They're like two inches long. I have a uh, translucent chartreuse and, and red color. Next. Oh, a looter lure. Now I've never heard of this thing. It's some kind of a spoon. We'll fish this on light tackle. All right, here we go. Big bite baits. Pro series jig heads. They're pink. Black eye eight. They're eighth of an ounce. You pair it up with the Bobby Garland. Light tackle. Steel shad spinner bait, solid red. Steel shad, half ounce. We are gonna slow roll this down the ledges that we see on Lake Travis. Red and gold, big willow leaf blades, black and red skirt. What's next? Mr. Crappie, striking. Two inch slabalicious. We got a chartreuse tail and a kind of a clear uh, salt and pepper body. All right, what's next? Here we go. There's a lot of stuff in this thing. Bio bait infused with fish oil. Looks like a leech type bait. Oh, I can see us rigging it on drop shot. Ugh, let's get into this. We'll fish that on a drop shot rig. It's about four inches long. Seems to be pretty good action. And it's mega slimy. Look at my hands. All right, what's next? Z-Man, good brand. Elaztec. Ned Rig? Ned Rig? TRD Hogs, black, blue, three inch. Okay, some kind of creature. This black and blue. We'll fish that on a Ned Rig head. We're gonna get these rigged up and we're gonna take them out of the lake and we're gonna see how we can do with just the lures in that box. Appreciate it if you go ahead and drop a comment, let us know what you think about the box, about the stuff in the box, and um, what you would do with it, how you'd fish it. So let us know and we'll see you on the water. Reed. I gotta be at work at eight, so it is a jump off here. It's my buddy Tech. He must have got my video. They're probably rolling on the floor like an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> my name is Will. This is Justin. And I'm Norman, man. Thank nice you to meet you. So I would much. fist bump you, but you're like five I feet away now. I might fall over. <laughs> <laughs> that would be perfect. Uh. 
Oh, there's a fish on the monster bass popper right there in front of that boat dock. He's not very big. You little guad. Monster bass challenge on the monster bass popper. Good morning, everybody. Fishing Adventures TV back out on Lake Travis with Justin. Uh, someplace outdoors fishing. I got your name right, I think, the first time this time. Um, it's a beautiful uh, late summer, early fall day. We just caught our first fish. Uh, about a little 10 inch Guadalupe on the monster bass popper. For now, I love this color actually. So, anyway, so get back in the water. I'm not gonna measure you. There's a fish hooked up. That's on the monster bass popper, black and pink. I do love me a pink bait though. I'm fighting like a monster, but he's no, but he's not. <laughs> he's not a monster. And I believe he's hooked good. Oh yeah, oh, he's a little bigger than I thought. About the same size as that one I got. Thank you, monster bass popper. I did notice that you really have to work this popper a little slower than others. Hey, so far, number two on the monster bass popper, and my alarm's going off. I guess it's time to get up. Oh, I got to call my kid so he can get up. <laughs> make a concerted effort to only fish up there oh right on the chain oh it came off thank god to what oh there's a fish right there on the spinnerbait is he on? no he's off that was a bite though oh oh yep i sure do oh dude that's a decent fish grab the net for me that's a decent fish. Decent fish on the Ned rig. I don't see him yet. Is that a catfish? What the heck is that thing? That is the ugliest catfish I have ever seen. <laughs> Look at this thing on the Ned rig. <laughs> and that was probably, it's a flathead. I got it, thank you very much. It looks like something's wrong with this fish. I like diseased or something. But what happened was, what happened was, is we got a strike on the spinner bait, didn't hook up with it, threw right back in there with a Ned rig, assuming it was a bass, and immediately hooked up with this bad boy. <laughs> well, the multi-species box is definitely catching multi-species. Look at the flat head on this. Let's get back in the water. That is a cool catch, actually. There he goes. <laughs> All right, Justin, top that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you immediately follow up a missed strike with an action bait or a moving bait with a different bait. A lot of times you'll catch that fish. Bait. Not a big fish, but a fish nonetheless. Oh, he's a keeper guad on the spinner bait that I would have never bought <laughs> if I hadn't got the monster bass box. What you think you're doing, buddy? Probably measure him just for the tournament for fun. Ah! Thank you for playing. We're Halfway through the box, we've caught fish on three of the seven baits. We've caught fish on the Ned Rig, Hog Z. I mean, I wish I could come up with some of these names. Those are cool. We also caught fish on the Steel Shad Spinner Bait and on the Monster Bass Popper. I know these boxes are empty. I'm just showing them to you because it seems fun. Not fishing my swim baits and my rooster tails feels unnatural. It's very strange. Well, this Ned rig skips pretty good though. I was able to skip it right up under that walkway. Where's that fish at? Come on, man. Fishy. There it is, there it is. Three casts right to the same spot. Oh, he's a good, decent quad. He'll measure 12 inches. Look at this guy. This is on the Ned rig, I actually cast three times to the same spot. He bit 
or a fish bit the first cast and then on the third cast he took it pretty though look at his colors yeah beautiful fish thank you sir you got one yep. nice he was out in the middle of nowhere too he fought must have followed it oh that little is that the citrus shed yep. nice little fish Jabberjaw fish. I love that Jabberjaw. So when Monster Bass says, I just found a lure in the water too, says that their baits are multi-species, I did not know they meant this. Oh, got it. This thing really is multi-species. I just caught a hat and now I caught a rattle trap. Where are you at, buddy? There, there we go. Drop shot fish. Nice. Ah. A leech? A leech. <laughs> All right, guys. This is the fourth fish of the Monster Bass Challenge. This came on the leech. I call it bio bait infused with fish oil. Maybe that's why it worked. Let me know when you're hooked up, and then if you want, you can take back over. I kind of like fishing from the back. There's a fish. Dang it, you come off too. <laughs> you ever get mad you like stomp your foot like a little kid? Because yeah. <laughs> I just did that. I think it was a bluegill. All right, there he is. Got him. Got him. Yep, big old bluegill right out from the front of that dock. Oh, that's a big one. Look at this dude. Look at this bluegill. That is what they call a copper nose bluegill about a foot not the biggest one i've caught out here either. well with this mondo bluegill here look at this guy copper nose bluegill he's huge there you go there you go hang on finally oh he's barely hooked too There he yeah, goes, hey. rooster tail fish. That's a guad. That's a nice squad. All right, guys, outro. Oh, there's a ski boat uh, rope right there. <laughs> so, guys, thank you for watching the video. I would say the monster, uh, monster bass fishing box tackle challenge. That was a lot of words. Was uh, a success. We caught fish on six of the seven baits, and on the seventh one. We tried, we fished for two hours at least, throwing nothing but that bait, just weren't able to hook up with the fish. We did get a couple of bites. Thanks again, Justin, hanging out with us on the lake and fishing outdoors someplace? Someplace. I don't, I can never remember. Someplace outdoors fishing. He said it, someplace outdoors fishing. All his stuff will be linked below. We're gonna do a giveaway with this box. Everything that was in the box, I'm gonna send to the winner details at the end of the video watch to the end and you'll have the details on how you can win this box so until next time tight lines don't forget to subscribe like share hit the bell see you on the next adventure that's going to do it for the monster bass fishing challenge we were able to catch fish on six of the seven baits a bass on the steel shad um spinner bait the a fish on the mr crappie grub head ned rig fish on the z-man a fish on the bobby garland crappie bait but well, we caught a nice large mouth on that we caught two bass on the monster bass brand mad max topwater popper the looter lure bait is the only one we didn't catch a fish on did get a couple of bites but this is not something i'm familiar with and i may have been not fishing it correctly um, but we tried we fished this for like two hours straight not a bite so what we're going to do is we're going to do a giveaway so how do you win this box and no you don't win just win the box you win all the stuff that came in the box everything that i showed you in the unboxing will be in the box we caught fish on six of the seven baits so you know they catch fish so how do you win the box you have to be a subscriber to both my channel and justin's channel my channel 
Fishing Adventures TV, Justin's Someplace Outdoors Fishing. Um, his information will be linked below. So you'll have two weeks from the day this video drops to subscribe to my channel, Justin's channel, and drop a comment below stating, saying, I want that box. And then we'll have a giveaway and I'll send you the box. We had a good day on the water. We had an adventure and we had a good time. So y'all stay safe, enjoy your holiday weekend. We'll see you on the next adventure. Thank you.